how to create a free landing page hi jay here and welcome to this channel in this video i'll show you how to create a free landing page for your affiliate offer or for your blog website all right so the website builder i would like to use is called ucraft all right so i'll show you why i like uh, ucraft all right so let's click on price and uh, as you can see you can create a free website okay and uh, if you want to upgrade for a premium version it starts from uh, $10 $21 and 39 and as you can see with the free plan you can even connect your domain and this is why I like Ucraft okay and not just that even when you connect you have a free SSL certificate and we all know that uh, with Google if you don't have this a whole lot of things you have for free you know so anyhow let's just get into the video right so you click here on platform and you click landing page all right so you scroll down and and uh, for the sake of this tutorial i would like to move fast you can load more if you want and uh, they have a good template just for the free version these are the templates you can use okay let's take this one you can preview all right so this is how it look like basically this is good for one page website all right but uh we're gonna use it just for landing page but hey you can use it for one page website and you'll be good to go all right all right so i'm just trying to let you check it out all right okay so let's try and move fast okay so use this template okay so we're gonna use it all right so this is the process line get started that is where we started from we've chosen our template and now we are on choose subdomain then we sign up all right so as you can tell you have your ucraft.net but you have to name your site so let's say I'll call my site uh, weight loss okay bait okay so I'll call my site weight loss bait so it's gonna be weight loss uh, weight loss bait dot ucraft dot net and the reason why you have the ucraft there is because this is free okay but don't worry if you still want to keep this without using your own domain you can go ahead and uh, use uh, what do you call it bitly to shorten your URL okay so when you are advertising or when you are promoting your website nobody will know okay and except when they come to your page and most of the time when people come to your page you don't even check your URL okay all right so now you have to sign up so enter your name your email address and create a password all right so if you want them to send you like update and stuff you click this and you click sign up if you don't want like any promotional emails and stuff like that just uh forget about this and click sign up let's keep going get started all right so start crafting okay all right so i'll give you a little tour of the tools uh this is our dashboard all right so you click here you can tell this is your page your designer media seo domain team logo makers site settings articles you know all these uh fonts stuff like that all right so let's go back this is your blog all right you can change whatever blog you want but we are not into any blogging stuff okay so let's go to element your image image slider gallery title you know paragraph video icon logo buttons and uh, blank space this is really important <laughs> this is really good this is what gonna bring us the money this little button that's it so we're gonna go back to blogs sorry uh element okay 
because I would like to delete this. All right, so I'm gonna delete all the templates and uh, I'll start from scratch, all right? With that, you have uh, full control over what you're doing, all right? So I'll just go here, delete, yep, and I'll go here, delete. All right, so you see what I'm doing, right? All right, this is what I'm looking for, right? So now we're gonna start creating everything by ourselves, okay? So I want to work inside this box, so I click it, all right? Then I come down here to element, then uh, click, drag, and drop, okay? Then you double click, then you type the name, okay? Bait, but All right, but uh, if you want to choose a logo, you can just uh, use the element and uh, you go, you click, you drag and drop the logo, okay? So it's up to you. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just using test, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna click back to element, uh, blank space, all right? Then drop it here, okay? Because we have to separate the title with whatever we're gonna put here which one are gonna be image all right so what we're gonna do you can click this all right then you use it or you can click that and you use uh, you can use whatever they have here you just check it out okay if you like it then you can use it so I just want like a single picture Alright, so let me try. I'll use this one and uh, I'll try to be creative about it. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think this look cool. Alright, so find out how I lost weight in two weeks to fit in this beautiful dress. Yeah, like I, I will, I'll keep the test like this, okay? I mean the test style I'll keep it like that all right so right now the next thing we have to look for is our call to action button all right so we go to element and we click this and we drag and put it here okay so I'll drag it okay so where do I want this? Okay. So I'll save it. Yeah, this look better than the other one. So where do you want to send people to? Okay, so just click here. All right, click the edit link and copy the link you want them to go to. Let's say your website address, your Facebook link, your Instagram, your Twitter, or your athlete offer, or your blog page, okay? So wherever you want them to go, you just drop that link for example let's drop something here okay so you drop it yeah and it's always good to let them open in a new tab because you don't want them to leave your page okay 
yeah then uh let's say if you have a blog page you don't want them to go away okay because if you link them outside somewhere if it's your blog that's fine but if you are linking them to like uh, an offer you don't want them to get off your page okay because if you don't want it they can still come back or they are still on your page okay so let's click save all right so right now this is saved so it's time to work on the compliant uh, you know buttons down here especially if you're gonna promote on uh, Facebook all right so right now we're gonna go to element okay so we're gonna drop it here I'm gonna change the color to white so we can see okay okay down okay so double click and uh, I just changed the test the test font to Oswald and I bold it but uh, I would like to change the background on test let me make the you see so now the test is bright okay yeah so this is what I want all right then I'll come back here too and I'll do the same thing all right double click so this is all you want okay now we're gonna have to uh, go back okay you go back so I click on the privacy and I'll come here and copy all right then you come you move on down there then uh, okay I'm gonna have to click this test highlight it you see this link then you just drop it here okay yeah and also you just have to open in a new tab always remember that okay so save and I'll go back then I'll click on terms double click this copy move back you click this then you drop it here open a new tab save okay all right so let's assume this is all you have to do and uh, you are satisfied with what you have all right so well you can choose to add more images or more tests but remember we want something simple so if this is all you want like in my case i'm done so what i have to do i have to preview so i want uh, to check the mobile version that's really important okay so so because of the mobile version we have to reduce the test okay right, so i've optimized it for mobile version all right so you just double click all right then all right then you go here then you reduce the sizes so i did one all right and one for all the tests here so and this i change that one too all right so you're gonna just have to work with it all right and uh, this test too i change it i change this i believe to 0 0.8 and this also same test you know just to make everything fit nicely so you just have to work around it all right it's easy then you go back to preview all right okay so then you click on uh, mobile version you see everything fits 
okay so i just I, I have to bold this test just so everything will stand out and uh, i will bold the test so double click yeah and uh, bold test okay yes so this should stand out a bit yeah all right so as you can see it look a little bit uh, clearer but still i guess i have to put a black background but i don't want to go into it too much just for you to know what's going on all right all right so when you put your mouse here it says all the changes made on your site are being automatically saved all right so you don't have to worry everything keeps saving by itself all right all right so this is how you promote it highlight all up to net okay then you copy so let's go check it out all right <coughs> So we come here, we drop it, hit it, boom. Guys, this is it. This is a free website and guess what? It comes with automatic SSL certificate, which means your site is safe. If I click it, it's gonna work, all right? It's going to the product uh, terms and condition and as you can see this is what uh, Facebook uh, look for okay this and that okay but if you're promoting on other sites sometimes they don't really care about that so all you want is people to look at this image and be like wow okay then they will click it okay when they click then all right so i have fixed the problem and i think it might be one my internet was down two because i copy uh i was using the image direct from them and that could be it or i put the button on the image that i was using from their library okay because remember I put the button right on top of the image that could be so what I did was I screenshot okay the image from their library and uh, I uploaded it now the button I even though I uploaded the photo I didn't put the button on top of the image anymore I separated the uh, button from the image that's why you see it here and uh, now everything is separated from the image so now it's working so to change the color of the background maybe you can go here and uh, background okay then uh, you change background color okay from there so let's see All right, so this is it, and uh, I will copy and I will test it. So this is it. All right, then you click here, it should go to the product. There we go. I will try and follow up with how to connect a domain. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, if you find value in this please uh, like comment share and subscribe to this channel okay thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day okay bye bye